I'm Jojo Mayer, and today I would like to talk a little bit about this new device that I uh, created in collaboration with Mark Love here at Sabian. And it was released a couple of months ago at the, at the NAMM show. It's called the Hoop Crasher. And um, it's a device that I've been, prototypes that I've been using for about two years already. And uh, we finally decided to put it out on the market and make it available to all the drummers because a lot of drummers have been inquiring about it. And it basically came out of the idea to augment the snare drum sound with metallic devices. At some point, you know, Mark had this idea to make a, a circular device and that was the birth basically of the of the hoop crasher. And it's a device that I can put on the snare drum. It's a main application, you know, it's laid like that. And other than the splash symbol or, or anything that you would lay or tape on, onto the snare drum, it will still give me the freedom to play the snare drum without actually exciting the... But I could bring it in on any stroke that I would want. So I could go... Or... So that creates that white noise type of sound that I could use on a, on a beat like that. Okay, so basically you can see I can hit, I can bring it in whenever I want it and it's not just always there, which actually makes it a very useful device. The Hoop Crasher comes with three clamps. Uh, it's although sometimes I only use one clamp, but you know, you want to be on the safe side, you can two, three, and you have the option with those clamps because they have different serrations that you can, or you can add the tightness to the effect. So for instance, right now I have my snare drum tuned fairly low if I want to go to like a slow tempo and like a big type of sound. For like some dub steps up. Okay, so that's this big sound. But I can also, if I want a tighter sound, I just tighten the clamps, which will put more pressure on the hoop crasher and shorten the, the decay, which is better for playing faster rhythms. A tighter setting also allows me to bring in interesting effects by playing it, as I would play a cymbal or, 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 or any other per percussion device, for instance, the in, a, in a beat like that. So the ability to, to adjust the pressure of the clamps is really useful because I can tune in more of the decay that corresponds better, for instance, if I tune the snare up high. So a shorter sound will probably work better with that. You can see you can get all sorts of like interesting textures and like grooves happening. Not just a backbeat sound. You can bring in more subdivisions. Okay. 
or it works really well with the, with a side six sound too. Okay, so you see there's a lot of possibilities. I can get it completely loose. You can also take the clamps completely off. It will give you a longer sound. If you experiment, you will find there's much more things that, that you can do with that. And not just with the snare drum, but you could easily transfer it to like a tom, let's say, the floor tom, and you could get some effect, get surprised by, you know, different sounds. I, I love to do that all the time. I, I, I just try things that hopefully create something unexpected that, that inspires me.